Welcome back to the channel everyone, I'm Lady Legend and in today's video we're going to go grinding for a diamond puma. But before we get into that, please take a second and hit that subscribe button, ring that notify bell, and ensure that you never miss another video. Let's get started. Okay, so when you go hunting for puma in Parquet, they're not very hard to find. You can find them around just about every lake and they drink from six to nine or 9.30 and from 1300 to 17 or 17.30. So they do a lot of drinking. You're gonna find them around all the lakes and the water's edge for a very big part of the day. So this is what I call Puma Lake. This is always the first spot that I had looking for pumas. And you'll often find them in couples. <laughs> you'll find a male with a female. And I like to hunt for pumas with either the 30 odd six or the M1. Looks like we got a vital there. Yeah, Acorn Lake is a really great lake. I have shot diamond red deer here, diamond puma, lots of diamond ducks. And often when you peek up here in this corner in the shade, you will find a higher level puma. I find there's usually a seven, eight, or a nine hiding up in here. So you wanna really check out the shadowed areas around this lake because you can find some real treasures in there. I found my first albino puma on this lake. And uh, that'll take care of his girlfriend. Really nice dark red, level seven, very hard puma. He is a gold, 36.7. And she is 33.4, level four female. She's a silver. Now, I am up in the lookout tower here. And this is a great vantage point. Whenever you can get up high, I highly recommend that you do so. And how I take a steady shot from way up there is I climb right up onto the railing and I go prone. And that way I'm taking the steadiest shot as possible and you would be amazed at the animals that you can find from this vantage point. See, and then I just hop off and down I go. So whenever you can get up high, get up there and have a scout around. Nice gold, 36.6 .6 trophy. He is a common, level seven. And often, <laughs> Often you'll see water buffalo attacking puma. Now this puma is just drinking, minding its own business, and it's getting attacked by a water buffalo. I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> she doesn't really seem to mind or care or even notice for that matter, but that water buffalo is not happy with her. <laughs> you'll see that around, so. Who says that Call of the Wild doesn't add funny things to the game? All right. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Legendary. You're who we're looking for, I hope. All right, he is uh, way out there. This is a really good lake. Shot lots of good stuff off of this lake. Now I wanna get as close as I can. I prefer to take a 200 meter shot over a 300. But, because of the water, I don't think I'm gonna get much closer. So this is gonna have to do. He's just drinking away. All right, we need to get a nice steady shot. I'm gonna hold my breath for a sec. That ought to do it. Yes, all right. And he's piled up, let's go see. Now, I've been getting trolled a lot lately, so it's making me nervous. Come on, you can make it, I know you can. Ooh. And we have another troll. <laughs> he weighs 97.11 kilograms and we shot him from 287.21 meters. That is very disappointing. So I was out hunting on my favorite mule deer lake, but not during mule deer time because I'm out looking for pumas. And in the morning puma drink time, red deer also drink. 
They drink from five to nine. So we ran into this pretty big herd of red deer. And I see a pretty nice one there in the back. So I'm just going to be patient and see if I can get a shot on them. I don't know. Red deer just never stop amazing me. They're just so beautiful. I think, I think that's a level seven. And he's just got a whole bunch of bodyguards. Just trying to wait to get a shot. We should be able to get one, hopefully, in just a sec. Might have to put out a call to get these uh, protective females out of the way. <laughs> they are in no hurry. All right, let's see what this will do. Not one call, and that just gets them moving a little bit. Come on, girls, move out of the way. Yeah. I think we got a vital, did we? Yeah, looks good. Here we have a really nice gold, level seven red deer. 205.6 trophy, 216.82 kilograms, and we managed a left lung shot. The 30 odd six. I love red deer. And so you always want to kill the heaviest pumas on your map, the pumas in the top weight class, because they are gonna come back in the same weight class and you're trying to spawn a level nine, a diamond or a rare. So if you shoot females, you could spawn female rares. And if you shoot males, you could spawn Male rares. As far as I know, that's how it works. Took a nice shot on that level seven. And if you get a vital on a puma, a level seven should always be a gold. Sixes can be silvers or gold. Eights can never make diamonds. You're never gonna get a diamond out of a mythical puma. A mythical anything, really. Nine is the goal, and we managed to find this beautiful piebald level four axis deer. I snuck into a bush, and I think I'm just about 20 or 30 meters away, and we're gonna take them with the bow. And that's the thing about piebald axis deer, they don't look like a common piebald. They're totally different from other species, and they're just so pretty. Yeah, that's a nice one. He's a gold. 234.3 trophy, piebald axis deer, 60.35 kgs, and we managed a heart shot. That was a pretty nice shot. Yeah, I'm gonna throw, throw him in the trophy lodge for sure. And this is my favorite mule deer lake, but it's during puma time, so I'm not looking for mule deer, I'm looking for pumas. This can be a good lake for pumas, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a really good lake today, apparently. Hello. So this is where you've been hiding. I understand when you watch a video, it makes it look like these things are really easy to find, but they're really not. I spend hours and hours grinding for Puma to find these guys. <laughs> Sometimes I get lucky and it doesn't take as long as other times, but it generally it does take many hours of grinding to find stuff like this. They don't just pop out of the woodwork. So I thought I should let you know that because it is distorted in a video how easy it might look to find stuff like this. So we found another legendary. I wonder if my luck is finally going to turn around. He is nervous. He is walking away. So there is no point in putting out a call. So we're just gonna take a shot. That was a bit of a risky shot, but we got a vital. Thank God, yes. All right. All right, RNG gods, please, please give me a break. Yes. Finally, we have a diamond puma. Yes, 39.3. He is 0.3 above diamond. He weighs 100.82 kilograms. And we snuck a shot in. That is how you take a shot on an animal prancing away. Just sneak up and pop a vital. Okay, so this is my map for Puma Hotspots. The
The two red arrows, that's where I found the two nine legendaries in this video. But all of these arrows I have seen diamonds shot at. But honestly, you will find pumas around just about every piece of water on the map. So finding them isn't the problem, it's finding the right one. So I wish you luck in your puma hunting adventures. Get out there and find a diamond or rare puma. And when you do, post it to my Facebook page, Lady Legend XO Space Gaming. Thank you so much for being here today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. You take care.